Good morning, afternoon, um, evening. I don't know, it's some time in the day. Uh, this is Mr. Myasis. I'm going to talk about parallel box plots. And uh, I'm, I'm really just going to show you how to do them on the TI Inspire. And then maybe talk about some comparative analysis. And that's pretty much it. So it's going to be a sh very short video. So um, in, in my class, we had this, this problem where we had two weekly salaries of uh, McDowell's and Hot Dog King. And um, I wanted to find some information and compare these two these two, uh, you know, weekly salaries for these two places and see which one I think is, you know, the one I want to choose. So what I'm going to do here is what we did in class is we looked at some histograms. This is the directions from the class. But um, what I'm going to show you do is how to draw two parallel box plots in, a, in one screen on your TI Inspire. So I'm going to go to my TI Inspire now. And I have entered in my data in my list and spreadsheet. So if you uh, don't know how to do that, let's go, you would, from the main screen, you hit new document. And when you do your new document, right now I'm in current, I don't want to lose it. Uh, you're going to hit uh, list and spreadsheet. Okay, so when you come up like this, you're going to, it's going to show up and you're going to want list and spreadsheet. All right, so for my next thing here, I'll come back to that. So you enter in the data. Here are my data for McD's and here are my data for Hot Dog King. All right, so I just enter them in my list. Okay. Uh, when I choose a new screen, control doc, because I'm going to add a page. And I'm going to add my data and statistics page. And I should get all my data just kind of floating around in this page here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. You're going to use your little <coughs> touchpad here. Go all the way down here to click to add variable. And we'll do the first one. It doesn't matter which one you do first. I'll do McD's first. We get them in a nice dot plot. Looks pretty symmetric to me. If you go to menu, you'll find your option to change it to a different plot type to a box plot. All right, so we're changing McD's first. This is McD's nice, very, very symmetric box plot. And then if we want to see these as a parallel box plot, now a parallel box plot just means you're going to have two box plots on the same scale so you could do a comparative analysis with them so what we'll do is we'll hit menu and plot properties it says add x variable okay so that'll allow us to add another box plot so we're going to add an x variable and we're going to add hdk hot dog king and there we go now we have two box plots on the same scale both in different colors here so we could tell which one's which um, and we notice here when we hover over we can see that <clears throat> five number summary information Well, we don't have our IQR, but we can calculate that and We could do a comparative analysis with these two here. You know, we see that um, The min here is 300 the max here is 340 They both have the same median income here or, or salary But we notice that the the IQR the the range uh, interquartile range is very much different, very much wider than at McD's, which means there's a lot more variability in your salaries in Mc, in HDK here, in uh, Hot Dog King, than at McD's. All right, so really, um, you know, we're not we're not doing much here other than doing two parallel, doing box plots that are parallel, so on the same screen. I don't know if I can switch them so that I can have them um, going vertically. I don't think so. Okay. Um, just because sometimes you'll see these, um, you'll see these vertically instead of uh, horizontally, and um, that sometimes, you know, sometimes confuses some students. So what I'm saying is this box plot would be this way and this box. Plot. So it's like if we turn this whole screen and this was actually on our y-axis. Um, so that happens sometimes. Let me just play around with something here, if you don't mind. But that was pretty much the end of my video. So if you want to stop it there, you can. What I'm going to do here is um, just since I have a little bit of time here, I'm going to play around with this and see if I can just maybe click them over here. See what happens. Oh, look at that. Um, let's see if I can make that a box plot. 
look at that. So that's exactly what's talking about a vertical box plot. All right, and then so this this time when I'm adding, I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna add, oh, it's not gonna let me add a Y variable here. So, you know, that'd be nice. TI Inspire people, if you can add a Y variable there for me to do uh, box, you know, parallel box plots here, uh, vertical, that'd be nice. So, um, <clears throat> there you go. Anyway, this is parallel box plots on the TI Inspire. Have a nice day.